In our world, there is a tremendous number of valves. Valves that are vital to the functioning of devices. Strong and reliable valves which can save energy. Valves that control fluid and gas. Valves are part of our everyday lives. You use them, you make them work, even without seeing them. Pick a random person in this crowd. Let's say that one. When he wakes up in the morning, Henry makes himself a coffee. A valve is essential to the proper functioning of the device. As it passes through the coffee sachet, the high-pressure hot water is flavored and pushed towards the exit valve. This valve is a distributor and an anti-drip system. With its cross opening, its flexibility and rigidity allows it to control the flow at a specific rate, without dispersion and at the desired pressure. When the water booster of the coffee machine stops, the slots automatically close, stopping the last drop from falling. Every day, Henry uses valves made by Vernet without even knowing it. For example, before starting up his flail mower, Brian has to manually prime a small pump with his finger. When he presses the pump, the fuel between the upper membrane and the valve is pushed towards the carburetor. When the upper membrane is released, the valve closes, avoiding fuel flowback. Meanwhile, the depression created sucks in the fuel and fills the empty space again thanks to the umbrella valve. A combination of two different valves in a single part and in a minimum amount of space. Its composition is fuel resistant and the elastomer material used gives it an unlimited lifespan. We can also find valves in automobile braking systems. The main component used is an umbrella valve. It's located in a vacuum pump. Its role is to help create a low pressure in the servo brake to make braking easier for the driver. How does the valve work? When the pump is working, it sucks the air in the chamber and pushes it out through the umbrella valve. When the pressure is low enough, external atmospheric pressure seals the valve in its housing, making the system perfectly airtight. This air vacuum boosts the power of the servo brake. We also find these components in the medical market. For example, in this inhaler, where the component must comply with strict regulatory requirements. In that case, it's a duckbill valve. When Madison presses the spray button, she fills the chamber with a quantified volume. The valve is made of elastomer, so its elasticity has been optimized to work only at a specific pressure. When Madison inhales, the duckbill valve lets the drug through. If Madison exhales, the valve automatically closes and the pressure is released via the upper flap. Madison can inhale again without any risk of modifying the volume prescribed by the doctor. For 65 years, Vernet's worldwide customers have trusted them to find solutions to their most difficult challenges in the field of gas and fluid flow control. Vernet has more than 400 standard parts in their catalogue. Their research centres have the best design teams, ready to solve your problem by customising your components. Vernet also has a worldwide production capacity with the most rigorous certification. Let's work together on fluid control solutions to make your most ambitious product visions become reality.